You know what? I think I'm going back. What are you talking about, man? I don't know anyone there. Wasn't that our goal? Do you want to meet more people or what? I don't know. You can always go back to the computer and then for the next months you can feel bad for yourself that you haven't risked. Come on, it'll be fun. Iloilo520 Dude, what are those? Diet and discipline. Damn, it sucks that I can't hit the gym too. Why not? Well, she doesn't want me to get any muscles. Then you should give her an ultimatum. Either you're going to the gym or she does. And what will it do? The results. You think? Of course, here half of them had year-long exemptions from PE classes, and now they will not be ready to exercise between work and watching soap operas. Well, although mine doesn't watch TV. Nobody does. Zoomers rise up. Yeah, screw those old geezers. And who are you? Me? This is my homie Sebastian. Nice to meet you, Evo. Ivo. Is this your name or some kind of a nickname? Okay, we're not gonna be standing here like those symbols. Let's meet others. Hi. Hey. This is my buddy Sebastian. Remy. Susie. Hey. Okay, sit down. Come on, sit sit. Julian. What's up my man, I thought you were on your shift today. Nah, tonight some shitty DJ came from Italy, and there, sent us away and hired real guards for today. Then why didn't he call me? I'm telling you, it will be fun. But I don't like that. Why? You know, all week, non-stop. Then I just sleep during the day until my body adapts. We can always go somewhere else. What does that change? You guys talking about trip or what? Yes. Lake is a nice option. Forget it, there are mosquitoes everywhere, I'll be bitten again. And it is harder to photoshop my photos with all those bites. Well, mountain trip is no no. Why not? I will not be walking around with this leg, you're all going to leave me behind or something. No, we wouldn't do that. If I held keys to our cottage then you probably wouldn't. If you get lost, we would call emergency or something. You'd have a helicopter flight for free, it will be fun. But you have to pay for that. For help? Yes. Well, your parents are sleeping on money so you probably will be fine. You're probably right. But remember that you won't be sleeping in the same room with Ivo. Why not? He is my homie. Really? Whoa. You can't just gave me a break don't you? It was a long time ago and it was not true, by the way. I already said that I mistook him for someone else. Is he even a good kisser? Don't you remember? Hey, we didn't make out, he just carried books for me. And at the school trip in the fifth class by the fence? We was kids and shit. Cece, this is awkward. What? You started it. You talk about my boyfriend in front of me, I feel uncomfortable. They were just jokes, geez. Maybe we should invite Tommy over here and ask Ivo which one of you is better in bed in front of him. Why are you bringing that up? Remy, I'm sorry but you know what I'm talking about? Sorry, I don't. How would you feel if I do that? Why are you trying to inviting my boyfriend to your bullshit again? My boyfriend won't be your comfortable pillow for you to complain every night. Back then I had no one, I need someone to talk. Is it my fault that no man wanted you before? Because my best friend at the time preferred not to answer my calls, and then she kept evading me for days. Girls, maybe we could tone down a little bit. I think you should not be allowed to speak because it all started with you. Me? How so? If you hadn't been texting with both of us at the same time maybe we could talk like a normal couple. But we were talking like normal people, you could always change the subject. And how should I do that, huh? You kept saying I was boring you all the time. Because you were boring. Well, I can't with him. You know what? No. In our relationship, I see holes that cannot be patched anymore, I try to keep our status somehow, 
but you keep drilling all the time and I cannot keep up with you. Okay, but, I'm still not convinced that this is all my fault. If you stop flirting with all of us, if you stop forcing me to constantly have to look after you while you are constantly drunk at parties, and try to be cuddly with everybody all the time, so the next day you will cry that you are sorry, then maybe you won't be fully responsible for what I feel. Oh, and I am still not done with you for that pics. They were just old photos? Do you seriously have problems that I have photos of my friends on my phone? I think you are a very jealous person. Even I wouldn't send you that kind of photos. Why not? You keep changing the subject. Maybe you should take some ADHD medication or pinworms because you can't just sit calmly in one place. Well, I'm young, I have to go crazy from time to time. How was it? Disastrous. Well, I don't know what to do with you anymore. Anyway, thanks for leaving me alone with people I don't know. No worries, I don't know them either. So who did you know? Tom and that twink, but not that much. And you couldn't come to sit with us? You could always do the same, I didn't order you to sit on the couch all night, sometimes you had to prove your initiative and come to the kitchen for some spread. Actually, I'm starving right now. I am already full, we ate almost everything from their fridge. Whose house was that? I don't know, who cares? And who is that friend of yours? I wouldn't call him a friend, but someone good for chit chatting at a shitty party. Was it really that bad? I don't know, they kept talking about people I don't know and about events I didn't participate in. I couldn't find the right time to slip in. If you want, we can try it again next Friday. Now I'm done. Why not? You want me to go out with those people and what? Now I suppose to be friendly with them. It's too late now. Those bridges were burned. Oh, so what are we doing now? I'm going home, I need to think. Yeah. It was nice to see you. What are you doing tomorrow? What do you think? <laughs>